first date, she refused to get out the car because he took her to the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm -mm. My, the, the first red flag is why is she recording herself right now? She's on a date with a man, a first date with a man. It's all about making good impressions on your first date. And she's recording herself. And there was another portion of the video that uh, I found in a different clip where she started recording herself while they were on the way to the restaurant. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look at Are you, you're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? <laughs> this is the average ass looking chick. What the f What is she talking about? Take out the braids, the hair that's not hers. Remove the makeup, whatever she did to her eyebrows. She appears to be slightly overweight. She's got a terrible attitude. What is she talking about a woman like her? What does she mean? A delusional one? A narcissistic one? What is she talking about? You talk about it? I'm, I'm fine with talking about it, <laughs> even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. So, so, yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first day. And I'm fully aware that this could be a skit. If it's not a skit, and this is not too far fetched what this whole interaction is. But this man right here, uh, and it appears that he's got his money on point because you got the full panoramic sunroof. Uh, it's not a cheap car. I want to talk, if this is real, I want to talk to him. Because he needs to be educated on when a woman disrespects you like this, you take her out of your car, she gets an Uber, she can go home, and you go on about your day. Go eat, go eat at the Cheesecake Factory. All right. I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted, so mm -hmm. you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. That's and, what you're supposed I, to do. I agree. Not I, I went Tuesday into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself, to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to pay the, the, the The modern woman is taught what to expect from a man, not how to treat a man, and not how to be a lady. I guarantee you if I pulled up her Instagram or TikTok, I could tell you, and, and YouTube, I could tell you exactly who she watches for content to learn behavior like this. Chances are high that she came from a single mother household. And if we really wanna keep d diving deep into this, she's probably over the age of 30. For your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, you've been pretty nice, then, but I mean, and then, cheesecake factory. I. You don't explain yourself to disrespectful people. On the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. And, and at least, you know, um, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, 
The moment you pulled out your phone and started recording yourself, or I think she went live or something with her friends. Even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that, or hold my hand or anything like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. I yeah. don't know and you. I yet. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. We're not again. I mean, I don't we're not know there. Yet. Okay. I know you. And then, but I, I mean, mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I mean, got myself all me. You're not. That's the typical response from again women who are delusional. Uh, I've heard many stories of women who have broken up their families, and her standard response is, "I did everything," and he. He didn't appreciate it. And then when you ask her to articulate, well, what do you mean by everything? She can't do it. He Nothing does. wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at, I mean. Look at my plan, where we were gonna go originally. See, now that's that's where, that's where we should have went, Ari. Right there. Call see, him, call him. No. What do you mean, no? See, I, I specifically I told you both yesterday and this morning that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour, and so I was waiting downstairs. Is this dude for real? No, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Let's see, let's see. I for an hour. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to, you know, meet uh, at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a what? nice, fancy uh, restaurant as Aria. Especially if I'm paying for the whole thing, which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been, okay. but if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice. Late. It wasn't that late. I mean, we literally left. Again, women are common um, offenders of or perpetrators of doing this, which is not budgeting the right amount of time to get ready for a date. If I say be ready at four, it doesn't mean that I'm coming to pick you up at 535. That means I'm going to be there at four. So you need to be ready. If it takes you three hours to get ready, don't start getting ready at three o'clock. Your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Uh, uh, and I specifically uh, said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there. And while we're in the parking lot. I mean, and we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's... <laughs> uh, if you look at her face, obviously, she's average. But then just track down to the to the girls down there and, and look at the, the crease. That's a good indicator of what's going on with her body. It's not that nice. Nothing. I, I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for that. No. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I, and maybe we're not right for each other. That's the best thing you said right there. Another thing I think that uh, a lot of women like her, uh, we'll just say the modern woman, that they don't understand is because they don't, they've never had to do it. Paying for two people to go out to eat is expensive. It doesn't matter how much money you make. You could be a multimillionaire going to the fanciest restaurant, spending a thousand dollars a plate. W women can't wrap their head around multiplying something by two because they've never had to do it. They think, oh, I can do this. I do this on my own. I can take care of myself. I go out all the time. By yourself. When you go out with your girlfriends and you all go out to these fancy places to eat, you're paying for yourself only. 
you're not paying for all your friends. If you go out with a one of your girlfriends, you're not paying for both of you. And if you do pay for both of uh, both dinners, it's occasionally, not every time, like what we as men do. And we don't mind paying for dinners. We, we do mind paying for dinners for entitled women. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm up. So you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? No compromise. And she should be, consider, consider herself lucky. Be grateful that he's willing to drop you off back at your place. She should have been left there to figure out on her own. Get an Uber, get a Lyft. Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, I mean, am not going to go through I mean, with the rest of the day. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah. I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean. Now, he, when you first start watching the video and the way he speaks and um, he sounds soft, but he's doing what a lot of men that we consider hard or they sound tough he's doing what a lot of those men won't do which is not tolerate disrespect end the date and send her just say that's it we, we don't have to see each other have a nice day have a nice life i mean i understand that i was late i understand that i understand that i could have been a bit more cooperative you have you made some good points that's why i'm willing to compromise are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a, a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. Oh. So, oh. I'm sorry. We're dropping you off home. Key phrase. I don't have a lot of rules. Men in general don't have a lot of rules or requirements for women. Their list of rules and requirements, actually we won't say rules, we'll say requirements. Their list of requirements is 10 feet long. Ours is one foot long. And a lot of times women have a hard time just meeting those simple requirements. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. Stop playing with that fake hair. It's annoying me. I, I understand where you're coming from. Now, towards the end of the video, she, she had to keep putting the, um, her two assets on camera. So I imagine she might've gone on Instagram live and you know, people will jump on even people she doesn't know, but the behavior or the entitlement of that woman right there who looks like that even if she was extremely attractive and she had that kind of attitude, it's still unacceptable. But for the nerve of some woman to say, uh, you're taking me to Cheesecake Factory and oh, I'm not gonna get out of your car. I'm, Cheesecake Factory is beneath me. Have you, have you seen my face? Nah, th th this is, <laughs> I applaud that man. Uh, with the exception of the part of explaining himself, which you, you shouldn't do. Uh, or if you, I, I take that back. Definitely don't explain yourself for that long but you do need to tell you need to start telling modern women when they're mis misbehaving say the reason why you're ending the date and then let that be the end of it until next time don't forget to like share subscribe